Hi, maybe you have seen calls on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, on WhatsApp, whatever, um, that forward messages from hospitals that call for face shields, and usually those calls are from uh, for face shields made with a 3D printer, right? Um, today I'm going to show you how to create your very personal do-it-yourself quick and dirty face shield in just three simple steps and um, you can see my result here it weighs just uh, about 20 grams and it does not take a 3D printer to make and in fact it only needs about three minutes well what do you need for a shield like this? First of all, you need zip ties. Depending on how long they are, you can get them in your regular home improvement store, uh, online, wherever. Depending on how long they are, you might need about five, six, maybe only two or three. So that's really up to your source where you have them. I have zip ties that are 30 centimeters, so I need to have um, or four that are 30 centimeters and that's why I need five of those. Then you need a overhead transparency film. Very simple to get. If you have a printer at home maybe you also have one of these. Then you may want to use some tape. Um, don't worry, less is fine as well. You need a standard hole punch and of course a pair of scissors comes in handy. So just to be clear, this do-it-yourself product is quick and dirty, it does not meet any industrial, uh, industrial or medical standards and I did talk to three doctors about the whole thing, they were not r unhappy with the idea um, they, they liked the idea or the concept, but all of them really pointed out it all comes down to the quality of this film. In professional masks, typically PET is used. Uh, I don't know what these overhead transparencies are made of. And um, of course, you need to be able to disinfect them. So that is really, really important. So. Let's start with step number one. Here um, I'm taking the ties here, the zip ties. I'm going to put them together just like this. I have a pretty big hat, so I need another one. And um, here we are. This is our headband. It looks highly improvised. It is highly improvised. and. Um, if you're making it for yourself, make sure it fits your size. If you aren't making it for yourself but for someone else, you better leave that open so that the person can adjust it to their own head size. So, step number two here, uh, you need to punch holes into a overhead transparency. Um, don't save with the holes. You might want to have a few of them in there. So my uh, hole punch just got stuck, but that is not really a problem. Uh, this is step number two. You want to prepare the shield now. So we've just punched holes into our shield material. Uh, that means we need to tie in the zip ties now. And um, this is also done quite easily, so it doesn't take loads of time. And um, really everyone can do that, as you can see. So. Now, um, this is our face shield and you can easily turn it around like that. And uh, now you just need to fit those parts together, like this. Okay, just take a piece of tape, you don't really need a lot, just like this. 
So this is really enough. Then you go back here, right? Do the same thing. And here you go. And now you have your very personal face shield, uh, which then might come to something looking like this. And here you go. This is your face shield. It's as easy as one, two, three. Stay safe.